Welcome back. The new year brings a lineup of some to Tony Award winning shows to Central Iowa. This morning, the general manager of Stevens Auditorium, Mark North, is here to talk about some of the family friendly entertainment that we have up, at, uh, up in Ames. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. We were talking that first on the list is Zuzu. And tell me about this show. <clears throat> well, first of all, Zuzu is on Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, but the showtime is early enough so that the uh, football whittles and, and children can get home in, in time for the big game. But Zuzu itself is, uh, if, if you think of life-size mammal and reptile costumes and combining acrobatics, gymnastics, and mime with that, it's just a, a, a very humorous and entertaining afternoon for the family. Saw some penguins, some rabbits, some fun characters. Uh, uh, frogs, penguins playing musical chairs, uh, snakes, uh, all sorts of uh, things that you can imagine brought to life uh, with the actors, and it's just going to be a great family afternoon. So let's stick on the family-friendly entertainment, because we have Shrek in the lineup, and what family hasn't heard of Shrek? That's right. Shrek the Musical is coming to Central Iowa for the first time on February 13th, and you know Fiona, Shrek, Donkey, uh, and, and all the characters that uh, people are familiar with in, in the movies are will, will be on stage live. and. Uh, again, uh, I think it would just be a very entertaining evening for everybody. We talked about Blue Man Group, West Side Story. I mean, kind of give me the rundown of what else you have. <clears throat> well, for Broadway, West Side Story, which is you know uh, just a classic, the Sharks and the Jets, and uh, you know the the, the uh, timeless song uh, Maria, uh, and then uh, we have Dream Girls coming, Spamalot's coming back for a, a return play, uh, and then Blue Man Group uh, for two nights. It'll be the second time they've been at CY Stevens. They uh, debuted in, at CY back in 2006, so we're just uh, glad to have those, them back again for a return play for two nights. We were also talking before this that, uh, that some people think, well, Ames, oh gosh, it's so far away for a night, but you said really that's not the case and it's, it's worth the drive. It, it really isn't. The, you know, I got down this morning and it took me about 35 minutes to get here from the north side of Ames, so, you know, it's... Uh, it's, it's not that bad of a drive. It's uh, four lane all the way, uh, free parking. And you can walk right up to the building. And uh, yeah, CY is just such a fantastic venue to begin with. Uh, it's very intimate, even though it is 2,700 seats. As I was telling you, uh, if you sit in third balcony, you're still only 130 feet from downstage center. So it's, it's, very, it's a very intimate building. And obviously there's a lot of shows. I know you said you're on the second half of this first season and already looking ahead to the lineup for next right. year. Right. Uh, uh, we still have uh, uh, Rain, if you like, uh, the Beatles music. Uh, it's a great theatrical production. We also have uh, a group from Sweden called Arrival, which does uh, uh, ABBA music. You know, so if you're a fan of ABBA or Mamma Mia, that's a show that you definitely want to see. And uh, Montana Rep, which is a great regional uh, equity theater troupe, is doing you know Simon's Biloxi Blues, and uh, also I think a real treat this year is the California Guitar and Montreal Guitar Trios are performing together uh, to to end our season, and they normally only perform during festivals. All right, Mark, thank you so much for being here with us. I know we've got a lot uh, going on up at Stevens Auditorium, so we appreciate you telling us all about it. And we'll be right back with Megan's full weekend forecast. She'll tell us if we'll see any snow flurries.